Now, if you want to create something similar to that, please stick around until the end because I'm going to be showing you how to do that throughout this video. Now, first of all, it's pretty easy. The basic things you need to know are to add something, just click X. So you have add clip, add screenshot, add track to, add music, add layer, add filter and add overlay. Now I'm going to be talking you through each one. So add clip, you go to this screen and you can just choose any clips. You know, I've, most people should not. I already have a clip, it's just some random clip I found. Add screenshot, it's just your screenshots, you know. I sometimes use these ones, these colours, just to do like, I don't know, like backgrounds so I can write something. Um, add track 2 is, well, you could have you could record audio you could add a clip or you could record video but that would involve ps camera so yeah like if i'm to record audio right now it'll give you five seconds or you can just start recording and it should come out something like this and okay now you can hear that the the audio has recorded as you can hear here and it should come out something like there you go so uh yeah so that's record audio you also have add music which go right through getting normally and you can choose your songs now i have some songs here because the some of these songs aren't that good you know what i mean so yeah if you want to find out how to um add different songs onto share factory please check out my other video it's something you need it's something to do with importing from usb as you can see here and yeah anyway once you've added your music so let me just add i don't know uh, this one okay and then you can all right yeah, yeah i've added now you can hear and, and yeah uh because that audio is not you know it's useful all you have to do is just delete clip you won't delete the clip or just delete your audio and yeah now add overlay this is good for um like i said remember those screenshots and you could write something so you could have imported images which is from usbs and all that you could have text so you just choose one of these and just write something so yeah just write um testing i don't know and as you can see you can put how many seconds you want it and transform you can move it and expand it with um r1 so and l1 is to make it smaller so i got that you could change the color the text effect and loads of other things anyway i do not actually want this text because that's kind of useless anyway now you could also have add filter now these are just like let me say i want to add the luminance filter it'll be like this so you know now now some people are probably thinking how have i got the filter here to be like this the luminous filter but when i go into here it's back to normal now all you have to do is go to split clip Find the place where you want it to stop and just click X, split clip, and you'll see here is grey, 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 and now it's back to normal as you can see there. Now I'm just going to go to edit filter and just delete that because I don't need it right now. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you have a multiple up because it does the same thing anyway. But it kind of annoys sometimes, but it's okay. Anyway, add layout. It's just like this. It's not really that useful, but I mean, sometimes it can be or let's say you just want to go bottom left panel it's just like this it's mo most people don't really use this especially me i don't use this it's kind of useless but some people might want it i don't know if you're live streaming or i don't know something like that anyway add transitions these are pretty good because let's say i add a transition here um these are good for montages and things like that so for example i can put uh a blur fade yeah put it here and if you look you can see the transition there the blur so yeah 
Now, I'm not really transitioning anything right now. Okay, anyway, we're done with all of these ads. Now, if you click square, you have all of these. Time bender. This one tends to lag a lot, but it does do the video playback speed. However, this tends to lag a lot, and it's very, like, it's not very smooth when you change it. Anyway, split clip, I already showed you this. It's easy, it's basically another way of trimming. Just click X, like, let's say, okay, let's say here, where do I get a kill? Do I get a kill? I don't know. Or did it, yep, I get the kill. So, let's say here. Wait, I'm coming. Okay, so let's say I split the clip around, I don't know, when, okay. Okay, so I can split the clip right here and uh, finish splitting it like here, okay? And then I can just like delete this and yeah, so you got something. So you got this now. I've got just a bit where I actually kill him. There you go. It's not the greatest clip, but I actually don't care. I'm just showing how you do it. Now, you could keep splitting it, just click circle to exit it. Then you have trim clip, basically split clip, but a different way. So you just like, all right, let me, for example, split, trim this clip. All you have to do is like move it around. I don't know, you want only this bit, let's say, and then that bit comes out. So yeah, I'll just put that back. Okay. If I go to move clip, now this is, for example, let's say I want this clip to go at the beginning. I don't know, just for no reason it will go at the beginning and as you can see it is at the beginning so yeah now I have this clip at the beginning instead so yeah kind of useless but I mean some people if you get your clips mi mixed up then just use that symbol okay right now it's not gonna help though anyway if I go here I can delete the clip which you know what deleting clip does I'm not even gonna explain clone clip just get gives you the same clip again there's no point having two clips unless you want to like trim one of them and just clone it before you trim it because then yeah anyway pan and zoom is just like with l with your l3 stick uh, you just want to move like move it to your right to zoom and then with your r3 stick you want to move it around to like pan it so let's say i don't know i want to put to my hp so people can see that i was on like one hp I know I'm 100 100 but I don't care. Now, if you want to do the, if you're going to have it for only part of the clip, all you have to do is do the split clip again, and yeah, it works like that. Anyway, next we have edit overlays. Now, this is if you have an overlay, you can just edit them and like make them for a shorter amount of time or something like that. Edit track 2, you edit the track, obviously, the transition, the layout, the filter, it's all the same. Edit music, let's say here, I am, okay, I can um, edit the music so I can. Split it, trim it, move it, delete it, clone it, put the volume, the uh, fade it in, fade it out. So yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff. Now the clip volume is just like, I put it at zero because if you're having a montage and you wanna, most of the time you wanna hear the music, but if you wanna hear like the other people as well, you wanna do this. And if you're making a montage, you wanna click apply to all so that it applies to everything. And then you won't have to go through each clip which you have because that's gonna just take you a long time. So yeah, now this is what I've got so far. So yeah, that's about what, just about what you do. So yeah, thanks for watching.